าพักจากศิลปครับส่วนชั้นนำโชคหรือว่ามัสคอตในต่างๆถิ่นฐานนะคะได้จากในเดือนมิถุนายน2015ปีนี้ World Penchak Silat Championships will take place in Phuket, Thailand. Penchak Silat is a martial arts developed in the Nusantara area of Southeast Asia that includes countries of Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore, and Brunei. For the first time, the United States Silat Federation is planning on sending a team to compete in this prestigious tournament. So when we arrived to Thailand, uh, you know, we got there. It was it was actually late. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I will try one of those things. Which one? Those worms. The you want to try it? It was long, almost 40 hours to get here, <laughs> uh, but it was worth it. Um, Let's go. Cool. Eat it up. Eat up. Uh, you know, arriving to any of these uh, island airports is always an adventure. We had a long time in uh, in customs, but. You know, uh, once we got out, we got a nice uh, van that took us to our uh, our hotel. Thank you. Soon after, quickly, we started to try to prepare ourselves for the tournament. Okay, what's your plans for the rest of the day? Uh, go train and then eat and then I guess train a little bit more while Kavli Malik is in uh, his training. The command, know that that's where you can slow it down. When I first got here, I was able to uh, train with some of the other uh, people from different countries, and it was really exciting to be able to get um, a new, fresh look at how I'm performing, and just a really, uh, it was a really great experience to be able to work with some of these people that have so much experience. It was really cool that uh, Amanda and Abdu got to train with Pa Fahmi. And he is one of the, uh, uh, you know, the people from Persilat who knows about the judos. Pafami, uh, being able to train with Pafami was very fun. Uh, very interesting experience. He's an interesting guy. He really, he really helped me fix up my form. And there was a lot of stuff that he, a lot of notes and comments that he had for me. But you know, all of it was good. Yeah. Uh, we also got a chance to work with. Uh, Kyoko, who is one of the Wasi. Uh, coming here, uh, being able to train with uh, you know countries of the origin of Penchak Silat, uh, as well as other countries who uh, who have come to these different countries to train specifically in their Silat art. Uh, we couldn't have put together a training. We couldn't have gone to one country and been able to glean as much knowledge as we got here in uh, Phuket, Thailand. It was fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Myself and Kawana, we immediately, uh, within the first day, enrolled in the Wasit Jury Course. Now, Wasit is a person who actually the referee in the middle uh, and the jury are the people taking score. So they have very strict rules and very uh, strong curriculum in order to train the WASI jury so that they can have a good uh, uh, representation at the tournament. <laughs> the course was very tough. Uh, we had a lot of knowledge, a lot of information. We had to know two forms. Uh, we had to, uh, to go through all the different scenarios. There was a uh, theory aspect and actually a practical aspect where we would uh, go through the movements. <laughs> you know, they would make go make us do um, uh, which means, are you ready? Mulai, which means start. T, which means stop. B. When this and uh, it was very, very, uh, it was rigorous, but it was good. 
Amin got to train with the other teams. Uh, he was with the Australia team and, uh, and was got a chance to spar with the guy from Uzbekistan. And many of the other coaches tried to pitch in and help to, you know, get him ready for his fight. Yeah, I got a chance to train with uh, Team Australia and um, a little bit with the coach from Team Ukraine. Um, it was a pretty good experience. It was a good experience. They gave me some good tips. I, like, I really like Team Australia. They're well, they're a real solid team. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you at the next tournament. My name is Doug Huey. Um, um, a coach for the Australian team this time. I've competed um, in the World Championships twice in Tunding, but uh, officially I'm a little bit too old now to, to keep competing, which is a shame because I would really like to probably continue if I could. Uh, we had six athletes in total. Um, we had three competing in Tunding, and we ha had a team for the first time in Senni, which was quite exciting. <laughs> First dry run uh, that I did in front of the um, the judges so that they could practice their scoring. Um, it was a little bit on the spot, and I was it was it was uh, it was not good. Ten seconds. But thankfully I was able to train with Pafahmi and he really helped me step it up a little bit and it, my actual performance was I feel eons ahead of my first one. <laughs> Ceremony was very. I was very impressed with the opening ceremony. They had a sealant performance, consisting of many different styles. The opening ceremony was really cool. They had all of the uh, countries lined up, and all of the athletes there. And then they gave a nice presentation, and they had a really cool video presentation, big screen. And then they had fireworks, and they had a sealant uh, demonstration. <laughs> The opening ceremony was absolutely incredible. Uh, the amount of people that filled the stadium, the television coverage, the ongoing coverage throughout the entire tournament, um, but the fireworks, the uh, the speech given by uh, by Praboa at the beginning of the uh, at the beginning of the opening ceremonies was very inspirational and very much the core of what Silat's all about. To open the games with such in a, such a strong way, I'm sure it gave the athletes that extra push to you know, really perform well because it makes it feel like this is a big tournament and you have to really push hard. Watching the other teams uh, and how they train and just their entire spirit, it's very inspiring. It makes me want to go back to the States and and really put in a lot more work. Try and get more people to come with us next time. Indonesian team practicing hard, the Malaysian team, Singapore team, Thailand team, all of them really practicing and training hard up until the moment. And this is something that is really good to see to show that Penchak Silat is, 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 a, is a sport that people are taking very serious. Oh, but this, oh, you 
pass. So at the end of the uh, course, they had a meeting and they sat us all down and then they read off names of people who passed. So they made you stand up and they called your name and then they told you whether you passed or failed. Uh, not everybody passed, maybe 10 to 20% of the people didn't pass. So when they stood me up and they said that myself and Kawana we passed, we were really excited. In my heart I was like, wow, passed the course. Pass. Yeah. <laughs> So the Tungal uh, was performed by Amanda and, uh, and Abdu. They are representing the United States in uh, the Tungal, which is a, a single person form that comprises open hand, golak, and toya, which are uh, two different weapons in, uh, in, in the Silat martial arts. So the toya is similar to a bow staff, and the golak is like a shorter machete. It's a, it's a knife that uh, is probably about 20 inches long. In our practice, Amanda kept on going really fast, which is good because you're supposed to do the techniques fast, but there are slow parts where you have to slow down. But at the heat of the moment, you know how things happen. You just, you have so much adrenaline in you and you actually go faster. So she was, she went very fast, which is good, but she just had to slow down a little bit in the slow parts. Um, I think next time if she's able to do that, she will do it very well because Many times people have a hard time going fast. She has no problem going fast. You know, she has to slow down. So if she can continue her pace of going fast and then slow down in the slow parts, uh, I think she has a really good chance next time. <laughs> I was a little bit nervous, um, but then, you know, just practicing it out and just uh, really going through it several times before I actually went up and performed really helped uh, get rid of all the jitters. And when I went up and performed, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Abdu did very well. He went through the form uh, strong. Obviously, this is his first time. We're going against people who have been training for a long time, competitors who have been doing this Stungal for, since they were like five years old. Um, so he didn't place in the first round, but he did very well. And I think if he keeps uh, tweaking his, uh, the techniques and how to do them, and the timing is most important, timing and expression. Know when to do the slow parts, when to do the fast parts. If you time your, your techniques correctly and you know exactly when you are supposed to go, then you'll be able to time exactly in. He was a little bit over. And if you are under five seconds over or uh, too fast, too, uh, five seconds too slow or five seconds too fast, they won't count. But just a little bit over, then they will take off points. So unfortunately, he was a little bit over, over time so he could not uh, go on to the next round. But I'm very proud of him, and I hope that, you know, for the next time and for upcoming tournaments, he will be able to uh, succeed and do really well. Um, I feel about my actual performance, I think that I did good for what I was working with, uh, for the short amount of time that I was training, and uh, going there and then having to change a lot of the things that I had learned previously in just a few days. I think I did very well. Um, of course, it's not as good as I would have wanted to do. Uh, I just wish I had more time to train, and uh, that 
I feel like if I had more time to train and practice, I would have. Uh, it would have been much better. You got it! You got it! Woo! Yeah! Yes, yeah. They did phenomenal. We could not have been more proud of them. Uh, you know, this is the first time we were ever competing in this tournament. Uh, we were off time on uh, on Amanda's, but had she been on time, I think she would have been one of the top contenders and possibly possibly ended up with anywhere from gold to silver. I thought she did so well. Uh, Abdu did amazing. He finished uh, right at five seconds over time, and uh, and you know, again, I'm learning as well when it comes to this part of the. Uh, this part of the tournament to look at him compared to the others I thought he did just as well and if not better than most so uh, very proud of both of them you know unfortunately we did not we didn't medal in either one of these but you know this is a growing and, and learning experience and uh, we're only gonna get better from here